Yo people, this is Timmy from Pure Kicks. Welcome back to the channel. You've already seen the thumbnail. You've already read the title. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and breaking down the Harden Volume 6. Whew. Let's get it. Of course, before we do any of that, if you're already part of the team, you know what you have to do. Go hit that like button right now. And if you're not part of the team, hit that like button as well and that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time a new video drops. Welcome to the team. Just like that, I'm done talking. Let's get into this shoot. Starting with the box, HV6, Harden Volume. You know where I'm going with that. You, you, you get that? Easy. The rest of the box is a dark color. We've got these weird circular-like shapes up top, which are actually textured. They actually dip in, which is a nice little touch. And then the same applies everywhere else as well. On the bottom, we've got his signature and his jersey number and Harden logos and Adidas logos where he's normally season. Nothing crazy, but a nice touch regardless. Let's open these up. Now, like one of my last videos, I had actually seen them before I turned the camera on. That's not the case this time. Shouts that Pro Direct for sending them through. Much love as always, I appreciate you. So I do know which colorway I got, but I just ain't seen it in person yet. Enough talking still, let's find out. Ooh, paper. Ooh, just in time for summer. Is the light getting those right now? Is the light getting, yeah it is. Just in time for summer. I think this is what, the Aquapulse? It's a hell of a name, I ain't gonna lie. Aquapulse, yeah? The Adidas Harden Volume 6 Aquapulse. This might be the summary shoe I've ever seen in my life. It is damn nice. I can't front, it's clean. The green with the blue, with the orange. Yeah, I mess with them, I do mess with them. One thing Harden and his signature line are already famous for are crazy colorways from the first day. So this is one of many, I don't even know the names of much of them, but I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. But one of many, and they are all clean. I think this might be the cleanest one. I don't know if I'm being biased, but I'm not. Cleanest one, in it. Now, if we're talking tech, let's start with attraction. Nothing crazy. Modified herringbone we've seen before. You've got the tighter herringbone around the kind of high traction areas and then a more wider coverage throughout the rest of the shoe. It's clean. Does the trick. Herringbone has never missed in all my years of basketball. So I ain't mad at that. The coverage is strong. It pretty much goes everywhere around the outsole. And herringbone is known to hold up pretty well outdoors. So it's a win-win if you ask me. Like I mentioned, around the lateral toe is a more tighter herringbone pattern. If you put two and two together, you can see exactly what that's for. That's for the patented hardened step back. It makes sense to get more traction around about that area. So why would you not? So that makes sense. I like when things make sense. Moving swiftly up into the cushioning. I'm pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It seems as if the cushioning is nothing but boost. Now I'm mad at boost, but I did really like light strike. We saw light strike in the Harden Four. We saw light strike and boost in the Harden Five, but in the Six, it's purely boost. Ah, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. Now don't get me wrong. The Fives didn't quite hit the way they should have hit but the opportunity was to come back harder in the sixes. Can you do that with just boost? I did love light strike. We all love light strike, come on. But I don't know how this is gonna go with just boost. Boost is, is tried and tested, I get that. But that would kind of tell me Harden wasn't liking what was happening in the fours and fives and say, go back to boost. I've got things to do. I know this one works in it. So let's find out. Just boost throughout. Caged on only one side, which is of course your lateral side. So again, keep you on the footbed and inside the shoe when you are moving naturally. And then of course you get the full effect of boost on the medial side, giving you all that cushioning right under your foot. Another big change was that the midsole is no longer a drop in midsole like we saw in the five. They've gone back to boost and it's attached like a normal shoe is. I don't know if it worked as well. So it makes sense to kind of go back to basics and go back to what works. I guess after all it's just boost. And Boost worked really well in things like the twos and the threes as well. So Boost it is. Boost is known to be responsive. It's known to be long lasting. The longevity on Boost is crazy. So I shouldn't be mad because it's a great cushion into having a shoe. Stop it, stop it. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on. Lastly, talking about the upper. A textile material pretty much covers the entire shoe. But what's special about this textile is that it's made from 
a lot of recycled content. Now, if I get into what those numbers look like, go with me on this. 25% of the components used in the upper are made of a minimum of 50% recycled materials. Does that make sense? I don't, what? It says here, generated from production waste, e.g. cutting scraps, and post-consumer household waste to avoid the larger environmental impact of producing virgin content. But that just sounds like words. You know what, overall it sounds like a good thing, right? It's just like they're doing their part for the environment by making a shoe from more recycled content than they normally do. Harden's for the people, baby, it's for the planet. Shouts out Mother Nature. Outside of all of that, the upper is very similar to what we saw in the Harden 5 a textile material throughout, but then these random like shapes in areas you need more support. The lateral toe box, the heel counter, and even the medial side as well. The shoe itself is constructed with a half booty construction, as well as these pads on the inside to help around the ankle support and Achilles support as well. We've seen these before in the Harden 5 and it did actually help with that support around that area. Look at me, chatting shit. No, it did not help with support in that area. If you remember correctly, the heel slippage in the 5 was in abundance, support was higgy. I just got too excited, obviously. Don't mind any of that. Moving on. But not really anywhere else. Facts. Sometimes it gets like that. Overall, I'm excited to get this shoe on court. I don't think the five did what it could have did, but we're here now, so let's see if we can redeem ourselves with the volume six. The shoes look great. I'm even interested in what these cables are in the upper. Are they gonna help with anything to do with fit? We'll see. I'll let you know as soon as I can. Off the eye test alone, let me know in the comments which ones you're rocking with, the Harden 5s or did the Harden 6 come harder? Pun intended. When you're done with that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button to show love and support and help the channel grow. It's greatly appreciated. And when you're done with that, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every single time a new video drops. If you're already part of the team, what's up? And if you're not, welcome to the team. So all right guys, that's everything from me. This is the Adidas Harden Volume 6. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.